Hey everyone, welcome back to Keeping Up With Cool. We are with two amazing artists right next to me. I'm like blushing over here considering I used to jam out to them when I was in like middle school and high school. Give it up for the Veronicas. Hello girls. Hello. Uh, so sweet. Thank I you was for just, that beautiful intro. I was just telling people that the first time I ever saw you perform was at like Six Flags and I must have been like 14 oh, and I think it was like Boys Like Girls and the Ready Set. That's right, yeah. And I was jamming. Oh, but. that's so cool. <laughs> And well, the which gym song? class heroes too oh, yeah. were playing. It was we were the only girls on that entire tour. I remember we got kicked out of one of the Six Flags because Jesse said a swear word on stage. <laughs> big no no. I got in big trouble for that. We got kicked. We weren't allowed we to leave the ride. We weren't allowed to go on the dodgem cars, which was the only thing I liked to go on. Oh my gosh. Six Flags, and I wasn't allowed to ride the dodgems. What are the rides you guys like to go on? Mm, the ride of life. <laughs> Life, life is one life big is a crazy ride. ride enough. How's yeah. that roller coaster of life g going so far? <laughs> it's been crazy. It's been the last few years. It's sort of been like this, down here, really big. And now it's like, and now it's sort of on the rise back up. It's just like yes, yeah, <laughs> coasting, 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 coasting along. Um, no, it's been amazing. We've uh, you know been in the studio for the last few years, just sort of in our crazy little cave, making this third record. So we finally can say it's out here, which is an amazing feeling. Now you just came back from touring all over. How is it like? To what, what's the difference between I guess touring overseas and touring in America, and I guess in your home country as well? I mean, I think that the biggest difference is just the the crowds, obviously. So we did a tour of Australia. Um, the venues there were bigger. Um, so it was more sort of these theatrical shows and then we did the UK recently uh, before before here in America and those were smaller more intimate shows so those mm -hmm. were a lot more rock and roll I think it's just the energetic exchange between us and the fans so it's, it's that dictates how the night's gonna go um, so yeah but it's always amazing that especially our fans they just like to have a good time they are literally they're giving so much energy back and they're willing to go there with us like we get kind of like you know, very energetic at the start and then we like to bring it back really intimate and they'll just quiet down, they go there with you, <laughs> they go on that journey with you. It's really cool. Yeah, I'm assuming you agree too, huh? Absolutely agree. She's like, I'm just sitting there thinking, <laughs> I do not agree with a single word that Jessica says. <laughs> what is, why am I even in it is not the show? energetic exchange between the fans that makes any of the shows any different. No, no it, it is. It is wonderful. Yeah. And, and, you know, lately we've been getting to play more of those intimate kind of shows, mm -hmm. especially in the UK. Um, obviously, Australia, the shows are, are quite a bit bigger, which is also amazing. But, yeah, to have that real, like, like one-on-one -on -one connection and get to strip it back with the acoustic sets like we just played the other night, um, it's it's just amazing to look into their eyes and feel their energy and you know now with social media and with twitter and things like that you're talking to fans from all different parts of the world mm -hmm. all the time anyway every day how many times do you have to use google translator that's the real question <laughs> we do that we do it a lot we do. <laughs> yeah and just because especially we were just in europe so like we went to france we went to germany so we're getting a lot of love from those places right now so we're always google translating i want to rewind all the way back to the beginning why did you guys decide to come together? Because I, I work with my brother too, and sometimes I just want to throw him in a closet. Like, <laughs> oh, how, how does the sister twin thing go on? I think that it was just a natural progression <laughs> because we started doing music so young mm -hmm. and obviously we're just so drawn to creating together from such a young age. We would put on plays for our parents and things like that. And it was always together. Um, I think that that's just how we grew into it. And we, we, it was no, never really a question. We never wanted to do it with anyone else. We always liked to do it together. And that was where our strength was, really. When we started songwriting, we, we almost discovered songwriting separately, but then we would always bring our ideas to each other and then we would finish it together. And that's just sort of progressed from there and we've evolved and now we can sit there with each other and it's like this psychic connection that... that we don't, even, we don't even have to communicate. I mean, this morning, <laughs> literally this morning, Lisa was doing this. Have you heard of oil pulling? No. Okay, Should I? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. like an Ayurvedic uh, technique that helps, like, just keep you healthy, basically. So you put, like, a spoonful of coconut oil in okay. your mouth and you swish it around for about 15 minutes and it pulls out impurities and helps mm. with your voice. And yes, I've been having... We've been so on the go the last few months. Yeah. My, my voice is taking a little bit of a beating because I got a bit... I'm a bit sick at the moment. So, sorry, so I'm breathing into your microphone. Um, but, so this is, yeah, Jess said to do some oil pulling before I had to sing. So she was, you know, mouthful <laughs> and we were having full-on conversations it's true. without her making any real verbal English language like, formed mm -mm, words. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. 
I totally got that. You were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the third Veronica fan. <laughs> Ooh. So you understand. How do I get to audition? Fuck everyone else. <laughs> the hair. The hair is enough to be yeah. in the band. The, the hair? is way better than And the hoop better. earrings, yeah. Yeah, and the hoop earrings. Oh, they're they're really beautiful. So they love my style. Now, I want to hear your style. Like, I see, a, like, a totally different variety. I'm loving, you guys can't see, but there's, like, the platform boots. You got the, My latex pants. Oh, <laughs> there we go. We're going to stretch it all out for you. Ugh. I'm not going to try that. That's the special yoga boot move. <laughs> <laughs> yoga boot. <laughs> like, where does your inspiration come? I think that it just... Each other. I just try to steal... Every, like, I just want to... This is Jess's dress, actually. Uh, Jess will put something and I'll be like, that looks really cool. I'm going to do that because I'm going to look good in that. Cause she looks good in that. No. I think it's just what we feel comfortable in. I mean, we like to yeah. play up different textures. So mm. right now I do have on, like, rubbery latex pants with, you know, a fluffy jacket. And this, this top was from India. I bought it in India, actually. Ooh. We love textile, like, like natural oh, fibre cool. shirts and things like that. And lots of layering jewellery and crystals. I've and been really into layering textures and fabrics at the moment. And, yeah, I like all my sort of... I don't really like super expensive jewellery. I prefer, like, sterling silver or, like, yep. a special, like, you know, titanium that stuff's ethos. not cheap though no this stuff isn't no it's not but i mean like i'm not you know don't ever buy me tiffany and co kind of thing got it yeah I'm we're not, not it's you know more like the vintage, vintage like shopping. the shops on the side yeah, like to find all the little one-off special pieces and um you know we love eras so the 1920s and 40s and even i was really into the 60s and the 70s jess was into the 90s sort of grunge era now does any of that style reflect in your music Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, we're heavily influenced by different forms of art, you know. As far as fashion goes, it's just another way of creatively expressing yourself. So, you know, art, movies. And makeup and fashion and... Yeah. yeah, even our environment. Um, I think that, you know, we do a lot of travelling with our songwriting, so we mm -hmm. go to, you know, Sweden and we write these beautiful sort of songs because it's so pretty there and it's usually snowing. And um, we go to Nashville and it's, you know, like dirty bluesy vibe and we're Everyone's living jamming. a different lifestyle there so yeah. yeah we're very very influenced by our environment and everything going on around it and the people that are in our lives at the, that time play a huge influence for us and I think that that leads us to where we want to create you know each song and the, the sonic elements that that are a part of that.